Hey guys, Aaron from Modern Intel. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some basic stuff. It's uh, how to zero on your site. This can pretty much apply for everything. Um, first strike users, that's a little bit different, but you know, if you guys are getting first strike and you wanna zero in a scope, you guys probably know the basis of it already, calibrating for wind engine and all that crap. Um, so we're just gonna do basic sighting at standard ranges. So number one, what you're gonna wanna do, obviously put the site on, Put it in a reasonable spot. You want to put it around the balancing point, but different sites uh, go in different spots depending on the style. So they'll look that up first. You can probably just check out some pictures and kind of match what everybody else has done. Number two, chrono your marker. Because you don't want to be chronoing this thing or shooting at say like 200. And then when you go to the field, after you've zeroed in your sight, you have to turn it up or turn it down. And then you're shooting low or high compared to the zeroed in sight you did based on the 200 FPS or something like that. So that's number two. And then number three, pretty much what you want to do is go out to your field. Um, you could even do your, I wouldn't say do in your backyard unless you got a big backyard like I do, just this big open area. And then pretty much what you want to do is bring a Allen key that allows you to do the windage adjustments. You can see the up and down. I'm not sure if you can. You see one there and then you can turn it right or left on this side here if it's shooting right or whatever. So it's usually an Allen key. Sometimes it can be a, uh, a flathead screwdriver, but yeah, just bring that with you and Set it up, like I said, on the site, on the marker, and make sure you bring your mask with you because you're gonna be wearing that. And then just pretty much take a couple shots and then make your adjustments as you go. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna be fairly close. We're probably like, I don't know, 20 feet? I don't even know, give or take. Just start with something shorter and then you can slowly move back. So this is our first take, magazine one. So first of all, you don't want to make any changes to the uh, site until you know where it is. So let's take some simple shots first. So shooting stupid low. So since it's shooting low, what you want to do is turn it up. So you're telling it that you want to shoot up higher. Getting closer. So just, you know, just keep turning it. Maybe a half turn or full turn at a time. Getting a little closer. A little bit. Beauty. Just a touch for me. And now it's shooting a little left. You want to go a little bit right. Beautiful. So once you've zeroed it in, in the range that you're closer, then you can push it back a little bit and do it again. And then by that time, if you get it pretty good for close range, all you have to do is just make small incremental steps. You never want to turn the dials very far at all. But the one thing that's confusing, it says R and up, but it's hard to tell if that's, you want to move up the site or if you want to move up your round. So it's, it's kind of backwards thinking sometimes, but to get the proper answer on that, Look at the uh, instructions that came with the site. All right, so what we've done is we've pushed back the uh, our shooting board, and we've got a new one just so it's clean. Um, some people say you should use a very specific target, and you should lock in your marker. It doesn't really matter. You can see where the balls are going, and honestly, this is a paintball. It's never going to be perfect. You're always going to have those balls that kind of squirrel away on you. So just watch the balls where they're going. Watch where it hits and make the adjustments from there. So what we're going to do is now we're just doing fine-tuning. All right, here we go. Up a bit. Up a bit more. Now 
Nice. I'm gonna go right a tiny bit. Oh yeah. So now we got a sweet spot right there. So you, if you could see it, I hope you can. You're getting ball and ball action right there. Just balls all over the place. And this to me seems like a pretty good range. With paintballs, we all know there's a certain range limit we have because after that point, they just go all the place. I'm comfortable with this, especially with this marker because it's a CQB. At this point, if I'm taking any shots beyond that, it might go a little off here or there, but it's pretty freaking close. But if you want to take it further, want to get even more accurate, you can push back the, the boards a little further to the point that you want to engage people. And that's what's most important. Where do you want to engage people? Do you want to engage them at this point? You want to engage them closer? You want to engage them further back? Because again, you're going to have drop on your paintballs at a certain point. So eventually you're going to start arcing your paintball marker up higher and higher. So you don't want to chrono too far, or you, sorry, you don't want to zero in your sight that's too far away. Because by then you're going to be arcing your balls and if somebody comes too close to you, you're still going to be arcing and you're wondering why you're not hitting is because you're shooting right over top of them. So yeah, this is where I'm comfortable. But again, you can push it further back. But yeah, um, I'm comfortable with this, so I'm just gonna do some shooting and finish off the mag. That's it. All done. Once again, this was uh, shooting the TGR2. We love this marker, it's nice and tight. And uh, yeah, that's just using our standard open dot, but the concept the same with any uh, site pretty much. Yeah. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, ask us them. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So number one, get your marker, figure out what you, number two, figure out where you want to put your sight, look online if you're not sure. Number three, chrono your marker to the fields you're favorite on. And then number, was that on three or four? Number the next. Set up a board that's pretty close to you. Take a couple shots with the sight already locked in place and then make your adjustments from there just small little bits, maybe half turns at a time, depending on how far away the ball is to the site. And then just keep adjusting small little bits until you get that sweet spot. And then the next step would be to move your distance away from each other from your target, and then do it again and just to do your fine tuning. And after that, you got your sweet spot. Pretty straightforward, but you know what? Sometimes things can be overlooked and uh, it can get a little confusing here and there. So that's that about does it for zeroing your site. It's, it's very valuable to you, especially with MagFed. You don't want you to uh, miss any of those important shots. So when you get your sight on, you know exactly where that ball's going, unless it decides to have a mind of its own, which happens sometimes in paintball. Happens a lot of the time. Yeah, especially in wind. Oh, that's another thing. If you're zeroing your sight outside, make sure the wind is fairly low. It's fairly low today. It's not super dead, but it's, it's dead enough. If you're doing it indoors, perfect. No, that, that about does it. Thanks for watching, guys. And if, if you have any questions, let us know. Bow, 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 sight in, in your scope. Scope sight in. Farewell.